Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to resolve if your internet connection is giving you an alert saying that it's not connected and there are no connections available. So this should hopefully be a fairly quick and straightforward tutorial for you guys. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in device manager. And right underneath control panel, one of the best options that comes up should say device manager. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now if you have any network adapters listed in here, you want to expand the little arrow next to it. And there should more than likely be one network adapter listed in here. And you want to right click on it. And if there's an option that says disable, you don't want to do anything. But if there's an option that says enable, you want to click on enable. And then this will take a moment, so just be patient. And I would recommend that you check to see if your internet connection is working once again. Now, if that still does not fix your problem, I would recommend restarting your computer, by the way. I would recommend now heading over to the start menu. And you want to type in CMD. And underneath programs, the best match that comes up should say CMD. You want to right click on that and then proceed to left click on run as administrator. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select next or yes. And now into the elevated command line window, you want to type in NET SH space INT space IP another space reset. And then once you have it spelled out like I do in this tutorial, you want to hit enter. And this will take a second and it will ask you to restart your computer. I recommend holding off on that for a moment here because there's one more command that we want to run. And that would be to type in N-E-T-S-H, again, space, except this time we're going to type in Winsock. So N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K and then another space, and then you want to type in reset. And then once you have it as it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter. And we have reset the Winsock catalog. Would recommend that you restart your computer at this time. Now, if that still does not work for you, I'd recommend right-clicking on whatever your Wi-Fi icon is down on the bottom corner of your screen. So in my case, since I'm using an Ethernet connection, it's going to appear like a computer with a little Ethernet cord next to it. Most of your cases, if you're using a wireless connection, it's going to appear like bars next to each other, like a cell phone signal. And if you don't see it down here, you might want to click on this upward facing arrow and it might be in here. And you want to just right click on it and then left click on troubleshoot problems. And I would also recommend if none of these steps work for you guys, I would recommend going over to your router or modem if you have one and physically unplugging it and plugging it back into the wall. Or if there's a reset button as part of the unit, I'd recommend resetting it. And then hopefully that should work as well. And I would recommend that you have breaks in between all of these steps in this tutorial and you restart your computer and you see if you're having any issues that are lapsing or maybe your issue has been resolved. And I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to offer you guys some assistance. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.